So this question starts off by providing us with this quadratic equation here, w squared plus 12w minus 40 equals zero. The question goes on to say which of the following is a solution to the given equation. Um, I'm noticing that in every answer choice, there's a radical, right? So typically when I'm trying to um, simplify a quadratic, I look to see if there are two factors of the third term, in this case, negative 40, that multiply to equal the second term, positive 12, right? So are there two numbers that multiply to equal negative 40, but add up to, sorry, add up to positive 12. But if I see a radical here, it actually means that I shouldn't go about it in that way. It really means that I should use the quadratic formula in order to solve this. Now, the quadratic formula tells me that I'd have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, a is the coefficient in front of w, which makes it 1. b is the coefficient in front of, I'm sorry, a is the coefficient in front of w squared, which makes it 1. b is the coefficient in front of w, which makes it positive 12. And c is the integer um, that has no variable, making it negative 40. So I'm going to just start plugging all that in to the quadratic formula here. So negative b becomes negative 12, plus or minus. b squared is 144, right? 12 squared is 144, minus 4 times a, which is 1, so it's just going to be 4, and then times c, which is negative 40. So I just put that there, negative 40 all over 2a, again, a is 1, so no need to write the times 1, so just be 2 there. Let's simplify this further, so I'd have negative 12 plus or minus the square root, so I have positive 144, and then negative 4 times negative 40, well, that'd be a positive 160, right, so this will be 160, so then 160 plus 144 is 304, so that's the total quantity that I'd have under the radical there. And this is still all divided by 2. So again, I'm going to peek over my answer choices one more time and see that a square root 19 must be very important because it's in every single one of these options, right? So I'm going to say, well, how, how can I break down the square root 304 to somehow have a square root 19? Let's see. So in my calculator, I'm going to figure out, well, what is 304 divided by 19? It's 16, right? So this would be 16 here. The square root of 16 is 4, right? So that means the square root of 304 can be rewritten as 4 root 19. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say I have negative 12 plus or minus 4 root 19 all over 2. Let's start simplifying. 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into negative 12 six times. So what we're left with is negative 6 plus 2 plus or minus um, 2 root 19. And that's as far as we can simplify. So looking at my answer choices, it looks like choice D has to be the correct answer here because that's one of our solutions, um, right? Because this would become negative 6 plus 2 root 19 as a solution and negative 6 minus 2 root 19 as our other solution. That's, the, that's what the meaning of plus or minus is. So choice D is the correct answer here.